shower foam, massage gel. She manifested it and she wanted for the baby. So I thought that was so cute. Y'all are manifesting everything. Yes, of course. Manifest me a billion dollars. I will. On it. Working on it. What can make me feel this way? My girl. <laughs> Hello, amiga. Hi. What day is it? Yeah. In inducing day. What's gonna happen now? Uh, I don't know. They're gonna place a balloon in me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my life. Thank you for my mind. Thank you for my mind. Thank you for my body. Thank you for my body. Thank you for the food that nourishes me. Thank you for the food that nourishes me. Thank you for the home that protects me. Thank you for the home that protects me. Now, so I'm going to have my fruit and my vitamins. Uh, I think I'm gonna have like um, a grapefruit, an orange, and my vitamins. Let's make that. This is what I like to make my vitamin water with. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I like these. These are from Germany, but I still like them and they're so suitable for when you're pregnant and have diabetes, so. I have my fruits. I have my vitamin water. It's a multivitamin today. I also like the vitamin C one and the iron one. And then here on top of my Stanley cup, I have all my other vitamins. And also I refilled my cup with water so that I can meet my drinking goals today. But this thing has been a lifesaver during pregnancy. It really makes it so much easier for me to reach my water drinking goals. To stay hydrated because ain't nobody want a dehydrated baby. No, thank you. So yeah, that's um, that's that. I hope to maintain this lifestyle after pregnancy as well because I take such good care of my health now with like my vitamins, my food, and all of that. And I really want to keep that up after I give birth to the baby. I'm going to be breastfeeding, so I should. I'm so like used to this now that I really like it and I really want to keep it up, you know? Mm. So good. <laughs> Start. Okay, Jenny, let's go, Jenny. Yes. Ooh. There goes nothing. And a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, this smells good. The whole box smells good. Yeah, it smells amazing. This is like a, how do you say that? An incense stick set for her room. Shower foam, massage gel, hand soap, I think. We have baby powder, shampoo, two bottles. This is, I think, for bath time. We have baby wipes, like hard soap, soft cream. cream. <laughs> this is two of those. Conditioner, baby oil, two of the bath things. No, three of the bath stuff. Wow. Mm, that's crazy. A hair lotion, <laughs> another conditioner for her hair. And then we have the normal uh, body oil, the hair detangler. Also two laundry softeners. Okay, thank you, mom. For what? For all this stuff. This is so amazing. How can you thank your mom if she won it? But still, she didn't have to give this to us, you know? Okay, that's good. Even though, yeah, what is she gonna do with all this? But still, she, <laughs> she, she said she went into the bingo and she was like, oh my God, that's the package that I'm gonna win. She manifested it and she wanted for the baby. So I thought that was so cute. Y'all are manifesting everything. Yes, of course. Manifest okay. me a billion dollars. I will, on it, working on it. Okay. Anyways, that's that. But thank you, mom. Oh, it was snowing a few it minutes snowed. ago. It snowed. It <laughs> snowed. It was snowing a few minutes ago, but then it stopped. And yeah, yeah we decided good. to open up this thing. 
but I'm super grateful for all of this because yeah when you have a baby we are very well prepared and everything and we knew that we wanted this uh, but still like we are getting so many blessings from everyone uh, gifting a lot of stuff and and things like that and the only thing I can be is super grateful for all of that so that's what I am but yeah thank you you're very welcome <laughs> Mag ik dat met jou? Ja. Wil ik je toch net gegeven? Oh, sorry. Ik heb het niet. <coughs> He is so excited to put this together for his little girl. Yes, I am. <laughs> hey, Jenny. How's it going today with the pregnancy? So no shit. <laughs> it's literally a shit show. Shit show? How? What happened? I don't know. I don't can't keep anything down. We did call the hospital just to be sure. And I don't want to be dehydrated and stuff. But they told me, yeah, there's just a lot of people sick these days. So I just need to take it easy, take my rest and just sit it out. Trying to sit it out. Uh -huh. This is me sitting it out. Okay. Yeah, but my stomach is in shambles. Yeah. Feels terrible. So no eating today for you? Nope. Okay. And what have you done so far? Sleeping. <laughs> the only thing. Sleep and be sick. But something happened today though that made you happy. What happened? Oh yeah, the stroller came in today. I wasn't even able to really enjoy it because I was feeling so shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, or let's see, let's say it like this. Part one of three of the stroller came in and I think they ship it in three shippings just because uh, it's a very expensive stroller. And I think like by doing that, you minimize the chance of it being stolen. So and Benny had to like sign for it and everything. So they're really serious about it. And uh, we appreciate it because we don't want that thing to get stolen either. That's just going to be a headache if that happens. But we're really happy. Uh, I do need to practice how I fold it. But I'm really, really excited about it. Yeah. So I can't wait to feel better so that I can start practicing. Yeah. And you? How about you? What have you been doing? Except being worried about me. <laughs> being worried about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, tomorrow John and Tiff were supposed to come, but I feel like absolute rubbish that I had to cancel. I was looking forward to it, but even if I feel better tomorrow, I don't think it's a good idea for us to go out, eat out, all of that. Like, the way I'm feeling right now, I just don't think that's a good idea. My mom was talking to me like, yeah, you should make like some soup with some egg. Oh, the idea only made me so sick. It's just crazy. Hi amiga, I am going to start getting ready with the preparations for the baby. It's January now, January 2nd. And today we're going to take down the Christmas tree. Um, I'm sick, Benny is sick. So yeah, that's, um, that's what's up. We didn't do anything for New Year's Eve, anything on New Year's Day. <coughs> and now we're starting to feel a little bit better, but it's still not how it's supposed to be. But anyways, today is taking down the Christmas tree day, day. So I'm really excited about that. This morning, um, a few things already came in for the baby again. So I'm really excited about everything. I'm starting to really feel it too because I feel pressure down under and she is really really active but apparently she's taking the umbilical cord and playing with it and do all kinds of things which i'm grateful for i'm grateful to be feeling her move yesterday i also spent some time writing down some affirmations because my labor date is coming close so yeah i'm really excited to meet her I'm afraid of the whole labor situation, but I'm trying to ease my mind and think like, yeah, labor means meeting the baby. So really excited about that. But yeah, I'm going to take down all of this 
and um, see it next year. Next year when we set it up, we will have a little someone added to our family, which I'm really, really excited about. But yeah, let's take down the Christmas tree. Currently, this week is going to be week 35 of me being pregnant, so that means the baby can come any minute now. I have my like things to tidy up. I have to work this week. There are so many things, and I am I'm not sick, but my voice is still acting up since I have like this cold going on over Christmas and New Year's. So yeah, so many things going on. I have. A meeting today um, online though because I only work uh, remote now because I cannot my mobility is just not it at the moment I'm so much slower so I just work from home that's the only thing that I do now um, but I have like a meeting later on I think at 9 so that motivated me to do my bed and shower and get myself like a little bit put together there are a few things that I'm not happy with at my job and I'm planning on addressing those and I think will be taken more seriously if I look more put together so therefore yes um, that's what has been going on I'm now quickly gonna put my hair back I think like just a half up half down kind of situation and then I try to make myself some tea and breakfast before I start working my shift at 8 By the way, I did a layering of perfume today. I used these two by Narcisa Rodriguez. This is the Narcisa Rodriguez Musk Rose, and this is this, and this is the Pure Musk. They go so well together. If you have them both, then I really recommend layering them. They smell so good together. Anyways, I think I'm done. I'm gonna do some lip oil and call it a day. 
that is enough for now i might do makeup later because i want to make some tiktoks but i will do that later on in the day it's just too early to be doing all that right now finally finished working i worked finished working my shifts i didn't really vlog while i was working at all i finished later than i was supposed to because i had the attention span of a fish today of a freaking fish but it's okay i made it i made my target which is really important to me um since it's my last weeks so i um i better you know make it work and stuff so yeah that's that anyways i'm now gonna make dinner uh dinner is halfway ready because yesterday we made potatoes with kale so i only need to make the meat for with the meal so i'm gonna do that and then i think later tonight i also want to make some pumpkin pancakes so yeah i think let's head to the kitchen it is now a new day and I am at the bus stop because I'm going to get my nails done they are still in this glittery red color which was fun for Christmas but it's time for something new and I want like to get something more neutral because I don't know when I will be able to get my nails done again I'm 35 weeks today yay so that means I still have five weeks left which practically means that I should get my nails done one more time before I give birth but I'm just not sure if that's going to happen so anyways I'm gonna get a neutral color but I'm on my way it's super cold winter is really here in Belgium right now it's crazy everybody is complaining about it but it is what it is wearing my hair in a ponytail for since a very long time I think I haven't worn my hair like this in a year or something like for a very long time but I like it so cute I finished getting the nails done and now I'm gonna go get something to eat I have a present to buy because I have a baby shower on Sunday of my one of my friends so I have to buy a present and maybe an outfit for myself and then after that I think I'm gonna head home because it's so cold so anybody got time for this Today is Friday and my mom is here to help me with a lot of stuff for the baby. Like, let me turn on this light too. Yeah, we're like doing all this. Mom is here to help me prep for baby. Taking all the price tags off so we can pre-wash everything and get everything ready. So yeah, hi mama, hi Oma. Hi. <laughs> 
Hej, nu skal baby vide, at det går som en babytje. Åh. Nu skal vi se så. Ja. Hej, Amiga. Today is another day. I have been so not in my element lately. Like it's crazy. I've just been feeling this cold, this flu. Not really flu, a cold. A cold that just doesn't want to leave me alone. It just doesn't want to go away. My voice is still acting up. It's just really annoying. Anyway, last weekend my mom and I just um, uh, did all the clothing for the baby. We washed everything and that is now ready. I only need to iron a few things for her and just start setting up her room. But I'm currently getting ready because today we have like an info session about uh, breastfeeding and Benny is gonna join me so we're gonna get all the information I do have a kind of a pregnancy brain that I forget some things a little bit so it's just for when I actually am breastfeeding and maybe I am not succeeding or things are not going the way I want them to that um, he can still remember the information from the session and that he can help out with that of course he has been super super supportive this whole time so i'm super grateful for that and um he's gonna join me today so that's amazing i'm just doing something really quick i just finished working my shift my taste for makeup is back lately so that's great because the first and second trimester i wasn't into makeup at all i was not I don't know, I just didn't have the energy to do it, you know? But now I have it back, so that's great. But we're also almost at the end. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me today and film like maybe a few clips of what the info session is about. And I'm curious, I'm just very curious to see what they're gonna tell us. Um, I am not feeling that good today. And it snowed, it healed, all those things happened today. So I really hope that the info session is worth it because i would really be annoyed if i go all the way up there to get information that i could have gotten on the internet or something you know so yeah hopefully that and i hope that there are other dads that are also joining the moms to be um so that benny's not the only man there you know so yeah oh by the way quick little update yesterday we had like an ultrasound um after like the last one was in november and Today it is the 18th of January. So yeah, that was a while since we had like the last one. And they found out that I have a higher blood pressure and that my baby was a little bit underweight. So they wanted to make sure that there's no correlation between the two. But that shit had me fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. I was so nervous about it all, but they took a um urine sample and also a blood sample and in the urine sample they didn't find any protein which in which always indicates that there's no preeclampsia happening thank god jesus and saint francis that that's not happening because that's that would have been a problem you know so yeah i was really really upset about it and they hooked me up to a machine just to monitor uh the baby and see that her movements are okay but she's still moving doing her things and since i've been so sick since december i think that i haven't eaten enough maybe and therefore maybe that's why her weight has stagnated or something stagnated is that even a word you know what i mean like that it's kept it plateaued somewhere and of course with diabetes the fear is that your baby will grow too much because that's very common to happen but now i have the opposite problem you know and then my friend salo is also pregnant right now um she is going to be due in a few days so it's just very very exciting to have someone to talk to about all these things so we went on a little date yesterday we but anyways, long story short, today I got a call from my gynecologist and he told me that the blood sample was also okay and that he is going to put me on just some medication to lower my blood pressure. So that's good. Um, I picked up um, everything from the pharmacy earlier this afternoon and um, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have my first 
uh, prescription thingy uh, with my dinner now before we leave the hospital. So yeah, that's everything. Thought I would tell you that, but those are things that nobody talks about. And yeah, and luckily for me, she is just a hundred grams underweight. So I feel like she's gonna be okay, but it was a very stressful last 24 hours. And yeah, just after every appointment, I just point my mom that I call her and let her know how everything went. So I was just very nervous because I know she's gonna stress out and I was stressed out myself, but eventually everything is gonna be fine. Monday, I need to go back to go back on the monitor and then they're gonna follow up on my blood pressure to see if it lowered after I started taking the medication. So again, God, universe, Maria, and St. Francis, please help me, <laughs> guide me, and let everything be okay. But yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna finish doing this makeup situation and then I'll get back to you. All right, amiga, we are waiting for the bus. Woohoo! So cold today. Oh my god. Feels like we're living in Alaska or something. That is supposed to be baby daddy, but it looks so dark. Hello, baby daddy. He's back now wrapped. <laughs> the hospital I just went to the bathroom and now we're gonna figure out where we need to be for this breastfeeding class information night whatever It is now the next day. It's the day after the breastfeeding info session thingy. And it went so well. I got so much information. I feel so much better prepared. There are so much things that I didn't even know and that I would have done wrong 100% if I didn't have the little breastfeeding class. So yeah, really excited about that. Today is a very, very cold day. It's icy and it snowed i think it just looks very frosty outside um but yeah i'm 36 weeks this week and it is just crazy how fast things are going now and i'm so excited i need to finish up baby's room and get everything together because she can come any moment now but first is a breakfast benny made me some fruit he got up some fruit for me so i'm gonna like measure my glucose levels check my blood pressure and and take the uh, medication that i need to take for my blood pressure all of that but i feel way more like at peace right now knowing that the baby is okay and knowing that something is being done about the blood pressure situation and then Monday I need to go back and I'm just confident about it now. You know, I'm confident about it that everything is gonna be fine. Way more at peace. Thirty-seven weeks today we are at the gynecologist. We are about to have an ultrasound and see how baby girl is doing. Daddy. Cama. Vamos o que é de su cama? Busca maneira de 
Diana aqui para o man de cargar o coco banhar o problema o homem vai trás. Digo, o homem de porá? O homem não vai trás. O homem vai trás o montanha sempre o homem se coloca. Ai jo. Camaritas. Hi. What they are doing? Cozy baby chair. Oh. You know the baby, you know the baby chair. Take a chest blaka. You are ever thank you, snap. Hi. What day is it? Today is <laughs> the very night. But it is um yeah in inducing day kinda. Okay. What's gonna happen now? Uh I don't know, they're gonna place a balloon in me. <laughs> <laughs> in my bird canal and then after that um they're gonna tomorrow morning they're gonna induce me. And uh, get the baby out. And that's because I have diabetes and also a higher blood pressure in the last few weeks. So I'm in week 39 now and they decided that they're gonna induce me. So I get it over with. Yes. But it's uh, it's good. So tomorrow you're meeting your baby girl. Yes. Happy? Yes. Very excited for it. Alright. Yeah. At this moment I'm very relaxed still. I believe everything is gonna be okay. I feel calm, peace, peace, and everything. Yeah. Okay. Come with an update later. Yes. They placed, I think, something. I don't know if that's the same in English, but they placed a balloon in me, and I am having contractions now. Like, look at this. I have a machine on me, and all that. But we're going into labor. My labor has started, and um, tomorrow. I think, yeah, I think, of course, the other, yeah, the other, yeah, anyways, I'm having contractions, but tomorrow morning, they're gonna induce me, officially, but I feel like the, um, the balloon is already working, so yeah, we're having a baby, we're having a baby, and I'm here with my mom, and my boyfriend, Benny, the baby daddy, so yeah, I'm really excited to meet this baby. So far, everything is going pretty well. It hurts a little bit, but they are coming to check me up. So I'll be right back. Oh. 